chat that way so you they can see how much the plastic leaning on the roof. Leaning on that, right? Yeah. Okay, so Hey, hey, this is the Kiko, all the way from Costa Rica. I'm going to show you how to pull a trunk of a giant better paradise away from the roof or away from the fence. So I will, I'm going to use a, a, a rope in here, and instead of using a, a, a ratchet, what? Drop? Strap. A strap. A ratchet um, strap. I'm going to use this rope in here. Then I'm going to pull it on the right angle, somewhere like in here, so somewhere here. Using a rope. Then I use this in here, like so. And that way I can... Like so. And that way I can... Uh, pull the trunk away from the roof as you can see this in here then look at the look at the trunk in there how the trunk is moving this way away from the roof away from the roof away from the roof simple 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 equipment you don't need to go to home depot and buy expensive material to uh, to pull it you just need to have a, a tree or you need to you need to have a, a galvanized pipe in here uh, somewhere where where you're going to uh, uh, pull pull the the trunk away from the roof like i am doing in here then i secure it in here pull the, the trunk away from the roof like i am doing in here then i secure it in here and I will come in here and check how the trunk now take a chart from there and see how far it is now from the from the roof. It's far enough. Is that good for you? Looks good. Right. And now, now I want to secure that trunk to this oil trunk to keep it pretty much in that position. I want to use this material they call, they call it a, a, <laughs> a funny they call it a funny they call it a funny pipe it's it's it's, it's called a funny pipe because when you touch it you you you, you just become a little bit funny now it just is a funny pipe because it's a funny pipe okay so we got two pieces pretty much at the thickness of the trunk something like that I use this because I'm going to use a wire to hold and position that trunk against the one. But uh, if I use the, the, the wire by itself, the wire eventually is going to get into the bark and the trunk of the tree and it's going to damage, it's going to damage the, um, the trunk. So I use this as a protection. And this is the thickness in here that is going to protect protect the plant from from the damage of the wire so i put this i take the wire in here you can buy the one in home depot or you can buy the one at, at ewing then i what i do in here something quick i figure out the length that i need in here by doing this then i come in here and then I said this is enough. I cut a little bit extra. So I will get this in here. Pair of plier. Cut it dry like that. Then I will not lean him in this one. We'll leave it in there for a while. So this in here. I will put this one through the funny pipe. Like so. Then I bend it like this. And then I tie it like that. Then I bend this one and I put it push it in here so that way it doesn't look that ugly in there outside. Clean job. 
Nice. Nice job. This is a. Uh, opa. Then I. Hi. Here, yeah, I think I'm going to pull it from this one. This is bigger, stronger. Then I'm going to get the wire in here. This is the wire, the plier, cut in there, push this in again, do it there. So now I going to uh, I going to untie it and then uh, take a chat from there to see how much the trunk is going to go, go get closer to the to the trunk. Not that much, right? Mm -mm. So now uh, now you can see where the the trunk is away from the roof. And this is the way that you can uh, direct uh, the gross of a trunk away from the roof of a house or away from uh, from a fence. So it's uh, it's very very simple. You just need to take a little bit of time, like uh, 10 minutes. You need to have a rope. You need to have a, a, a cable, and you need to have funny pipe or something a product that will protect the trunk. For me, this funny pipe work perfect. So I hope I can help you uh, with doing this so you can uh, direct the growth of the trunks of the giant bear operator at your place. Have fun, like me in there and subscribe for me, please. And uh, pura vida. See you the next time. Hasta la vista.